There we are. Say trees! Trees! <laughs> students shouldn't need to go to a special program to learn about the, the biodiversity and crisis and the climate crisis that are impacting their lives. Their land-based component and approach uh, makes it authentic as well. It's not just watching a YouTube video or reading it out of a textbook. It's getting out on the land, which is even better than having the voice in the classroom. So I think it is particularly important for us as young people in high school to learn about the climate crisis, to learn about climate change, the ecological crisis, and learn about the, the problem, but also learn about the solutions and learn about what we can do and how we can get involved. Community engagement really helps them become uh, lifetime stewards of the environment. We've learned about advocacy skills that can help us tackle small scale issues like things that happen within our own communities but then we're also doing very large things like going to COP15 and presenting there. I think it's a real gift for a young person to begin to imagine a better future for themselves and think about the ways to make that happen. We really need spaces where youth are given the opportunity to consider um, age-appropriate responses to um, the climate and ecological crisis that we face. We have in Peterborough this great network of adults and this program gives those students the chance to interact with those adult leaders and to see them in action. I don't think we have much chance at a sustainable world uh, if we just move forward with the same colonial patterns that got us into the trouble in the first place. A disconnect from nature is what's really driving our current ecological crisis. The YLS program is powerful because it teaches kids about transformative learning. Not just learning for the sake of gaining knowledge, but learning that will help to galvanize action. 